Libra. This is your mid-April to May reading of 2019, which is this current year. So congratulations, you made it another, I don't know what to call it, but you made it. So congrats. It's going to be a Thunderdome for you and whoever you're dealing with. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you resonate with this, cool. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. This is after all the game of life. Well, after this, I can. Yeah, I can stop this after this one. You can go ahead. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on with you. Group one. We will start with you. But please, no whammies. Okay. So group one, we have King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type. Hmm. Um, wants and wishes, Eight of Cups. You're wanting to walk away. Oh, would you have a fear of the Six of Wands reverse with your fears or rejections? Didn't I read this for you guys at one point? Like, self-fulfilling prophecy, endless cycle kind of shit in the situation. The star is what's going against you as your challenges and obstacles. The... The final result as well as the catalyst is the Four of Swords Reverse and oh, your beginning theme is King of Wands, possibly Leo, but there is also Sagittarius and Aries. I like saying King of Wands is Leo because like Leo is the king. Cause Lord knows like they have to be. Also, King of Pentacles Reverse slipped off of my deck for some reason. Don't know why. But it's like con artist, con man. But he's right side up here. So let's see, group one, what you have to say. <laughs> so let's see. Surprisingly, none of these reasons have caused my throat to want to be like, <clears throat> like it has been. So that's interesting. So. I haven't done that for a while now that I think about it. My nose is running. And that's disgusting. Alright, group one. We have the King of Pentacles right here. Usually, Earth sign. Doesn't have to be, but this is like somebody who is the provider. The person who makes the money, stabilizes the backbone of relationships, families, businesses of sorts. He is probably miserly, but he has a reason to. Like, look at his pentacle, all fancy. Not as fancy as Queen of Pentacles, because she's better at it. And she doesn't need everybody else to do the work. Or whatever. But he's the main driving force behind finances, stability, the home, the household. But, totally not offering his cup up. Probably in an immature way. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. He might not be... Group 1, you might not be offering... If you are the backbone, or if you're dealing with the backbone of the family, they're not offering shit either. Um, they feel like they might be in an endless cycle of working on something, or like... Hmm. Like, you know, never any prophecy like I told you guys before. Last year, when this came up for you. And I feel like it's that again, but you're not coming out and saying anything about this endless cycle that's come up, right? Like, tirelessly working just to be working almost like you're putting in so much effort but you're just it's not doing anything it's kind of like um if it was like um the wheel of fortune reverse right like nothing's moving nothing is going forward but here it's like there's not even a vision of going forward or anything it's just Keeping yourself occupied so you don't have to focus on things. But it's like you're not even trying to say what it is you're not focusing on. Probably not, yeah, not trying to have a discussion. Possibly even ghosting Libras. If this is Libra. Or it could be somebody else. Then we got the Eight of Cups, right? Someone is wanting to walk away. Someone is just like, Pleh. there's still that one cup in front of them. It's like that final obstacle. Before um, they can completely turn their back to everything. They're just going to pass that one cup that's over to the side. Hell, they might even take that cup as a souvenir. But it, it's not enough to like keep them. It doesn't matter what's been filled. It, it's not even a matter of the cup's filled or not. It's like whatever's in the cup disgusts you now. 
Like, all those emotions are just, ugh. Like, they don't do anything for you anymore. It's not enough to keep you there. This, for this King of Pentacles person, who's a con. Once again, he's here, but... This is weird, okay. So, King of Pentacles is here twice, but in two different positions. Upright, when he's, like, financially stable, he's not giving anything. But when he's reversed, he's just... There's something about his attitude when he's reversed that repels you, group one. I don't know if this is the same person. Or whatnot. But what goes against you is communication, the star, possibly Aquarius, when it comes to a relationship. Right? Like, I, like, I don't know why. Like, the obstacle is to communicate about a relationship. Maybe even a Gemini, the lovers right there. This fear that you're dealing with or what you're trying to reject is lack of victory, possibly even having people come against you with one person leading the way, right? Like, this could be an enemy in your house. This could just signify that people are not going to work with you to obtain a victory as well. Like, your ass is going to get beat or something, right? Maybe Taurus. There's a lot of earth in this. Like, a lot of earth. Like, this is either commitment. This is marriage. Because the Hierophant talks about that. It, it might be that you might be in a committed relationship with somebody. Who isn't good for you. The Catalyst as well as the final result. The start and beginning of this entire scenario. Group 1. Four of Swords. Not trying to take a break from something. Not trying to rest. That's literally what the Eight of Pentacles Reverse is saying. But you're not saying that, so. Yeah, you're at a crossroads. You need to surrender something. Um, you don't want to rest, but... It's like you don't want to take the time to think about what you need to surrender as well. Possibly dealing with this relationship. Um, weird. Ending theme. Ten of Pentacles. This home is ruled possibly by a Leo. Or just someone with that fire energy that's able to... Um, rule correctly, not so strictly. He's loved by children. You know? Like, look at them all climb on him like he's a fucking tree. Right? What a weird reading. It's like, this King of Pentacles, when he's upright, does not want to give you any sort of attention, or is withholding attention. Maybe even withholding an apology. And your want and wish is to reject him when he's reversed, when he's being a con man. So it's just kind of like, well, how are you seeing him? Because you're just working on the same shit that isn't getting you anywhere. You're not even wanting to, like, acknowledge it? Like, like, okay. Either the high priestess is hiding that, um... You are tirelessly working on something that doesn't really produce much of anything. It's just an endless cycle. Or you're coming out sane with the High Priestess. Something about this endless cycle, like admitting something about it. Admitting um, why something didn't work as well as you thought it would. Like... Like when this person's a provider, or in provider mode... They can't show their affection, but when they try to get close, it's like they're being rejected 
And that's kind of what turns them upside down. It's like, you want to give them affections? Fine. They'll steal from you. They'll con you. They'll lie to you. Um, they won't be your backbone anymore. It's like you want to reject them, but you know that they won't help you. If you do. But there's like no love here. or There's no reason for them to give their love to you. And this relationship, this commitment right here, possibly marriage is just being married to somebody who really isn't on your side, period, but gets everybody else against you. I feel like group one. All right, three advice cards. I'm either gonna play Drag Age or something different. Oh. God, he looks so sexy with my aviator headphones on. Can't even hear me. He has no idea what I'm going to do with Tim later. Mm. Um, yeah, bad judgment. Karmic card, right? Talk about bad karma. Yeah, bad intentions. But, um, in truth, this is more like something isn't going to be resurrected. Like, if there was any love here, it's dead. Like, this isn't Fred the Fish, this is Ted the Fish, and he's fake. He isn't giving real emotions. He isn't trying to fix anything. He isn't trying to heal anything. Um, this lack of actually working on something, because usually Eight of Pentacles is like not really working on something appropriately, but here it's like an endless cycle. Um, constantly trying to um, blah, 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 do something. I don't know, but it's like, this is all like bad judgment. If you're trying to work with this king of pentacle up here which i'm not even sure if it's a king of pentacle i don't even know i don't i don't feel like this is earth at all there's only one real earth and that's the eight of pentacles where someone's just working themselves to death for no reason just as a distraction whereas it's like it's almost like someone is seeing that someone okay like, listen to this real quick. It's like somebody had bad judgment. Almost like they thought this King of Pentacle loved them, but then it's like they almost found out that they were a con King of Pentacle. Like, they weren't the real thing. You know? That was like the bad judgment call. That's what it feels like to me. Like, somebody picked something up, or somebody saw something, or, or, or this King of Pentacle right here is rejecting somebody else and not giving their love out because they found out someone was conning them too or they're trying to con something out oh my god look at this libra right here injustice definitely bad karma definitely someone getting weight having the scales weighed against them in this situation jesus okay what's the final advice card it's like bad judgment call bad karma like this great one this person or if this isn't you is like it's like they want to control the home but they don't want to actually do the kingly parts because they all they want to do is hang out with the kids that's what i'm getting here like all they want to do is hang out with the kids like there's shit to do in the house but they're too busy flouncing with the kids They just want to be admired by children rather than actually put effort in, I feel like. Yeah, and they really don't want to decide anything. Like, they don't have any sort of decisive factors to them when it comes to this relationship. So it's just kind of like, you know, who is this? Like, who's dealing with, like, somebody pretending to be a king of pentacles when they're not? When in reality, they're a king of wands. Like, this should be Leo. Like, and Leos are, like, big-ass children. So if there are kids around, like, they will be the first people to hang out with them. Because, like, I don't know. Kids and Leos are just awesome like that. It's kind of like a Gemini with kids. Like, they're just big kids. So they attract children a lot because they have a lot in common with them. Not, like, because they're childish or anything, but because they understand what it means to be happy and have fun and have, like, that sunshiny self-esteem but this is like if this is a leo pretending to be somebody who is a um backbone or whatever like they're not doing that anymore like they're, they're just it's like bad judgment bad it, 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 
bad. Just. Just bad. Let's go to group two, because this is like. Hmm. Like, someone is. One of these things is not like the other. What if I today just another one? If I could remember words, I'd be good. I sound like my father, who is a Libra. So, don't judge me. But yeah, it's like, someone is... Someone, like, needs to resuscitate themselves in order to get happy again. And there's Leo with the sun card. I don't know if some of y'all are dealing with Leo. For Libra, good luck, because I don't know how Leo and Libra get along. Like, you both tend to have this... Like, Leo and Libra both love glamour. Leo loves things that, that like, make them look fabulous and happy and make things awesome. Libra is all about anesthetic, pleasing to the eye, everything looking perfect. And it's just kind of like, I don't know how those two would work out, because it's like... That is potentially, like, two immature people who should not be together. Not saying that you're immature on your own, but it's like, it's like when you got that one friend who you get with and y'all just end up getting in trouble together, that's kind of like what it's like with the Leo and the Libra. It's like you guys kind of end up feeding each other on the bad things and then like, well, it's like fun adventures, but like, then it's kind of like, mm. but that's beside the point. We need to go to group two and see what, how they see the world around them, right? Right. And I'm gonna slip my sexy man vacuum. No whammy. Right, right. Alright, grip two, we got Ace of Swords, lack of clarity. Mm. Uh, Queen of Swords is what you're wanting. The lovers in the fears and rejection. Two of swords reversed in the situation. Nine of swords in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Knight of cups in the catalyst as well as the final result. And the beginning theme is page of wands reversed. Once again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries type, right? Somewhat impulsively. Not moving forward with anything and possibly talking shit, you know, because that's what they do with the Magistrate Reverse. Someone possibly just talking nonsense, not having cool things to snay. say. Might be a sneaky little snakes with snake boots who is just doing horrible shit, talking nonsense, um, being kind of a problem child, right? That's the kind of energy that that card carries, right? He's sexy. You are. You are. You are. Alright. So, group two. Ace of Swords. Lack of clarity. Probably holding some sort of truth back since that ivy around your head is wrapped around the sword. It'd be one thing if it was upright because then you're like wrapping your brain around the truth, but this is like, no. You're holding something back. Just putting that out there. Not trying to call you out, but, you know. Yes. Yeah, definitely holding some truths back, because you've been uh, possibly about air sign. Libra, most likely. Gemini or Aquarius. In fact, like, this is a lot of fucking air. And Libra's card, Queen of Swords, is right here. And down below, in the, like, you can't make a decision, but you want to in the situation. Like, I won't say this is completely lack of clarity as much as it is someone, like, holding the truth back. Even though they've gone out and found that truth. Impulsively, mind you. Because the pages are all impulsive and just do things on a whim. Kind of like this fucking idiot over here in his page of wands, right? That's what the pages do. They're impulsive. They spread messages. They go out and it's like someone's withholding some sort of information that they're supposed to be putting out as a page, so it's kind of like, hmm, what, what you want? Okay, 
This is Queen of Swords. This is Libra's card, right? Being grounded in our decision making. Being decisive. Being able to decide stuff. Being able to know what kind of decisions to make and who to cut out. Like, for fuck's sake, she's already got blood on the floor and on her fucking sword. Um, destroyed indiscriminately. Carrying that right around on her to show her presence and power. I can't tell if she's trying to make a decision about a Capricorn or if she's deciding something against this relationship that has sprung the devil up. Uh, what people call a toxic relationship, which I would prefer to say unhealthy. Um, there's definitely some attachment here. That is not good. We got the lovers over here, so it's definitely just like, you know... These two people, yeah, they might be cool on the outside, but on the inside, it's like, ugh, and now the Queen of Swords is crying because she knows she's probably going to have to kill that relationship. But what's going against her denying those swords is, like, it's keeping her up at night. She can't sleep. She's having troubles with it. Yeesh. Yeah, because someone feels like they did it to themselves. Someone feels like they betrayed themselves. Because this is like self-sabotaging almost, right? Not quite on gaslighting or seeing someone betray you right in front of your face. But definitely like someone feeling as though like those swords are still there because they kind of did it to themselves. And I'm really wondering if... Hmm. Someone's holding their back, themselves back from the truth no matter how much they're snooping. Like, someone's out for information. But the information they're gathering isn't going with whatever it is they're thinking or being told or what it is in their head. You know, this is somebody hanging on to um, some sort of idea. Despite the truth being able to cut through that ivy, they're going to keep wrapping that ivy around until they can muster the truth. The problem is, is that as a messenger, they're not getting the information to keep that sword at bay. Like, contradictory information almost. Like, the spy is going out looking for the information that they're trying to verify. Somebody else has this. I think cancer, but I can't remember. But yeah, somebody's going out of their way to try to look for information to verify what they're thinking, but that's not happening, and that's why they don't know what to do about what to do. Which is a very Libra thing to fucking do, I'll tell you. Ooh. This fear of rejection of the lovers, right? Someone is afraid or they're rejecting this relationship. Where someone is a liar, someone is very childish. Kind of like the Page of Wands over here. But worse, because she's a queen. She's in charge. She's all this shit, right? Coming off as arrogant. Coming off as like... I want it my way and I want it now. Like, even her cat is just like, it looks like a dick. Like, right? Big ass dick. But not like dick dick. Just like jerk dick, right? Because they don't know what to do about the situation. Like, I feel like there was a lot of manipulation with her, too. Like, there are things that she knows that she's not telling people. And I feel like it's from this position of being unfair. Yeah, and down here in the beginning as well as the end, like someone offering their cup to a, a, a place where it doesn't matter where you offer your cup from. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it doesn't matter if you're offering your cup. This relationship's gonna die. <laughs> like, this relationship is dying, realize. It doesn't ha matter how much you put your heart into it, it's over. And someone knows that they did it to themselves. That's why they're sitting here, like, worried. That's why the Queen of Wands is... Or Queen... Not Queen of Wands, because she's a bitch over here. Queen of Swords, who is much more grounded. He's cutting out this relationship, you know. She's looking over here at this lover scenario where she is examining and just crying her eyes out because she knows she's got to cut this Queen of Wands out. The problem is, is, like... The sword's telling her to cut that person off, but the information's going the other direction. You see? This, as weak as it is, is still enough to keep somebody restraining themselves. And the problem is, is because this information isn't coming out the way that they want to in order to justify why they feel this way, 
they're stuck not knowing what to do in a process where they need to make a decision. So, you kind of, like, yeah. Both y'all are fucked. Um, both y'all are really fucked up, actually. Yeah. No new start for the shit talker, that's for sure. You okay? Yeah. Am I driving you nuts? It's hard to concentrate between listening to this in headphones and then taking them off and trying to hear this as it's not plugged in. Oh. And then somebody over there talking really loud as I'm trying to hear stuff. I'm working around you. Sorry. It's just frustrating a little bit. It's not like this is the only thing I have to possibly be doing. Well, I'm probably... What I'm doing that's kind of rough. I'm sorry. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm probably going to get on my Xbox after I'm done with this one. So I'll just do the rest of them tomorrow. No, well, you do them all today. Are you sure? We we'll won't do this shit again tomorrow. Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> you are, I know. That was a dumb question. It, well, it's not a dumb question at all, but like, at least okay, you... Maybe the appropriate question would be like, are you really mean enough to do two days of this to me? Oh, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I will not do this. I will get this I'm all done. Sure too. nothing copyrighted goes into your recordings. Oh, well, you could play your guitar. But no, I don't. Well, yeah, well, let me. Yeah, I can play the guitar, but I have to put headphones on for anything else. So. But when these are over my ears, I can't hear the guitar. You see what I'm saying? Like, Fair. Sorry. I'm frustrating the shit out of myself. Mm. Ugh, I'm frustrating myself. And you talk really loud when you're talking to the camera, but that's probably necessary, so I'm not knocking that. Yeah, my bad. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. I had to talk to my love. But, um... Someone's gonna walk away, despite the fact they still got feelings. Yeah, get these off of my head before I fucking turn them. I'm just gonna have to do this during time period not recording it. I just, it took me a minute to figure that out. That's all. Mm, let's see. It's too hard to do. It just results in anger. Sorry. It's okay. Let's see. Yeah. You don't know what pisses you off until you do it. True. But I hate pissing you off, though. You didn't piss me off. I pissed myself off. That's a lot different. Fair. Yeah. You're gonna have to edit the fuck out of this now and cut that out and all, all of that. Oh, no. It's okay. Well, I'll probably do that on there, but I don't know if I will or not. Hmm. Okay, so, group two. You don't know what to do, but you know you need to make a decision because it seems like no matter what you've had your head wrapped around, the information you're finding is wrong. Every time you find more information, it causes more of that like kind of like black and white thinking. You know, where, oh, this person's horrible, but I keep finding things that prove that they're not. And it's just kind of like, you know... It, it, it's got you so jumbled, you'd, you'd rather just walk away from it all, despite the fact the cups are still filled. Yeah, you both are both kerflunkled. I don't understand. Ah! Someone definitely feels left out in the cold. <laughs> but I don't want to say that they um, caused that to happen. Basement or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's like you've been putting up a fight this entire time. Between being mentally tortured that like you kinda did something to yourself and like you're trying to cut ties with somebody. 
that either you think isn't good for you or you believe isn't good for you. Doesn't necessarily mean that they were. What's the final? Peace. Ooh, good. Several. I'll take this one. Somebody wants to come back to apologize. Yeah. After doing some sneaky behavior. Someone's walking away. Someone's coming to fight their way to apologize. <laughs> because something didn't work out with that love offer, like I said earlier. That was a burden. And they realize that this disastrous home is not going to change. Okay. Sorry for the interruptions, but I hope you guys um, enjoyed this. And thank you for watching. If you want a personal video, or a personal reading, not a personal video, um, just hit me down in my email. It's in the description below. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.